Hi, I'm Joe Dante for Trailers from Hell. There's a particular brand of movie in Japan called kaiju movies. Uh, kaiju is a word that means strange beast or giant monster. And as we all know, starting with Godzilla, uh, there's been a rash of um, these kind of pictures that have gone on for the past, what, 30, 40, 50 years. Um, Godzilla, which was a big hit in America and all around the world, um, was the, the victim of uh, an unfortunately fake sequel, <laughs> which was put together by the Japanese uh, on account of Godzilla had been killed pretty definitively at the end of the previous movie, and they wanted to do an, a series of other Godzilla movies, and so they, they resurrected Godzilla again, only he wasn't really Godzilla. You'll see. So the international success of Godzilla Gajira in Japanese led Toho Studios to mount a quickie sequel. And so they decided to introduce a new Godzilla-like Tyrannosaurus and add a new monster, Angoras, who appears in a number of subsequent Godzilla movies. The stock footage-filled Godzilla's counterattack was bought two years later by an American company with the intention to dump all the original human being footage and replace it with newly shot American scenes even more extensively than the added Raymond Burr material in the original version of Godzilla. A new script was written by Trailers from Hell guru Ib Milkior, The Volcano Monsters. And new monster footage was to show the two dinosaurs found frozen in a volcano and taken to San Francisco where they would duke it out and wreck the place. As with the American version of Half Human, Toho was to lend the Americans the original monster suits for the new sequences. But that all fell apart. And in 1959, Godzilla's counterattack, as it was called, was slipped into theaters in an English dubbed version now called Gigantus the Fire Monster, tricked out with yet more stock footage of atomic explosions and lots of library music. Godzilla's trademark roar has been replaced for the most part in order to pass him off as this new monster, Gigantus. Godzilla ends up covered with ice, where he's found in the next and most popular entry, King Kong vs. Godzilla, which is nonetheless the dumbest Godzilla movie ever. 